Hey, it's Software Engineering Student here, and in this video we're going to be doing some simple exercises in Java. And I got the exercises written here, and they would also be in the description of the video if you want to see the exercise and maybe try doing them yourself first. But let's just read through them. So I've got the first exercise, which is create a program that finds the largest number in an array and writes the index of this number to the console. And with the second exercise, let's create a program that calculates the area of a circle, pi times radius squared for the three different the three different circles with radius one, three, and five. So let's start with the first one. So we're going to create a program that finds the largest number in an array. So first of all, let's create an array, and let's just do it with ints because that's easier. So we we'll create an int array, and if you don't know how to create arrays, don't understand arrays, I got some videos in the description. That's going to be some links to all the videos I've done about arrays and about some uh, some loops, which I'll also be using. So first of all, let's create an int array called numbers, and let's just create some random numbers: one, three, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and maybe let's change this one to be the largest number. So for now the index zero one two. So right now we've got this largest number at index two. So what I would like to do is create a for loop that goes through the index one by one. So it goes from i till numbers dot length and for each value, I would like to check if it is larger than some number. So we would like to create, let's first create um, an int variable called um, largest index. Oh, what are we looking for? Largest number. Index. Yeah, large index. Let's just do that and add the value zero. No, that's kind of wrong. It's actually very important you try to make these names as understandable as possible. So large num largest number index, that's better. So let's do a simple checking mechanism that goes if our current number, which is numbers i, is larger than numbers numbers largest number index then change the largest number index to i so at first we got one largest number index is one at first it would check is one larger than one no it's not so one is the largest index largest number so zero is the largest number index then it would go with three, because this would output three, larger than one. It would go, yes it is. So now index number two is largest index. Let's just try running it. And let's get out of the loop. And just print our largest index number, and we would expect it to be two. And it is. Let's try changing this up to make sure it's not just at random. Let's make it the last one. Let's just keep it like this. So now it would be at index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There we go. So this is a very simple solution. I think there might actually be better solutions. That's the beauty of code. There's often quite a few different solutions and written in probably a more complex way, but this is to me just like a pretty simple solution because we actually just used a simple for loop and an if statement. So let's just comment this out and look at the second exercise. So create a program that calculates the area of a circle. So we have some kind of formula for three different circles with the radius 1, 3, and 5. 
So let's just first create an array. So int radius with the values 1, 3, and 5. Oh, I forgot new. No, that should not. Oh, my bad, of course. Always remember to tell it it's actually an array. So, that's my bad. It thought it was looking for just an int. And this don't make sense at all when you're just doing an int. But uh, it is an int array. So, let's see. So we want it, again, do a for loop. And for each number, so we would go again, radius dot length. And for each number, we would just like to print, let's do some simple calculations, pi. So we haven't really been talking about importing classes, but we can do pi, or we can just be a bit tricky. Do 3.14 times. And then as well, there's no like simple way in, in basic Java of doing radius squared. So you could import some, uh, some, some libraries to do it through like uh, some math libraries, but let's just do it in a very simple way to so do it. Radius time radius, because that's technically what it is. We would do radius i times radius i. And let's just tidy it up a bit. There we go. And let's see what that prints. And we get 3.14, which makes a lot of sense because it's just 3.14 times 1 times 1. And 28.2.26 seems correct to me. And 78.78.5. So, this is just very simple, just doing a for loop, just going through the array and just printing a value for each index in the array. So, this were my solutions. These two pretty, pretty simple uh, beginner exercises. I hope you follow along and I highly encourage anyone that listened to try doing them yourself. It's actually very fun, first of all, but it, you can also learn quite a bit by just going through these exercises and trying to, to make it work. Hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video.